borrowed that off Joe Lock, uh, DX Freight. Cheers, Joe. I I lent him one. I lent one off someone else to lend him one, but he bought one and he says when he bought it, he says, any time you need it, Chris, to borrow it, just give us a ring. And he dropped off this morning for me. Good lad. Our lead dog's waiting for the day ahead. I've got that because I've got a. Uh, wait, uh, let me get my lead dog in first. I've got to sort my lead dog out first. <laughs> Yeah, I got a ring off one of my mates. I used to do work with him. Uh, when I used to sub for a, for a firm, he used to work for the firm. Mechanically, like, spannering, but it went on his own. And he's got a job on at uh, Peterborough, uh, a reline on a trailer, SF axles. And I thought to myself, ooh, SF axles. I know they're on the drum ones. It's not this one, but still, they can be tight on them stubs. So uh, I thought, oh, I know, I'll ring Joe up and see if I can borrow that tool. Because it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it, isn't it, people? Ha! Because I'd be sick if I went all the way to Peterborough and then I had a tight hub on it, wouldn't it? Oh, I'd be, I'd be sick as hell. So that's where we're off to now. Me and Lee Dag, right, and all of us, right, we're all going, aren't we, people? We're going on a little adventure, we are. And uh, then I've got, I've got to be quick with this, really, because I've got other stuff to do, but still, we'll see how... Apparently they've got all the gear there. <laughs> We've had that before, haven't we, where we have all the gear. Mm. You've, you've just never got enough gear, have you? I don't need out, do I? It feels like I'm forgetting something. Yeah, Matt, who I'm doing this job for, has been on my channel before, many, many moons ago. You might remember him, Milwaukee Matt. Because he, 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 he had Milwaukee's, uh, and at the same place, he used to be Makita Peter. Obviously, he had Makita's. So, yeah, this is for Milwaukee Matt, and... And he must be subbing for someone else or or doing because last night I got a phone call off off the bloke that either owns the, the, the trailers or or the main man that sorts subbies out to sort the trailers out. Uh, and he's all about like how much you charge in that. And uh, and he says, Do you charge travel because it's an hour there, an hour to Peterborough? He says, Do you charge travelling time? Uh, I says, Yeah, of course yeah, of course I do. Alright. What? Do, do you get your diesel free? <laughs> there. Is your... It does, I want to go where he fills up. It must be free, is it? Do, do you charge traffic? Oh, yeah, of course we do, mate. What do people think? And, and my time as well, like an hour there. Obviously, an hour there. What does he think? that like, I don't get paid for that hour then. I'm just going to work for no reason or something. And my diesel. Hey, How's that... So what's your hourly rate, mate? Uh, my, my, my hourly rate is, is is this, right? And then and then do you charge travelling time? No, nah, mate. I fucking travel around the country for no, don't I? Hey, come on. <laughs> oh well, don't normally have that charge travelling time. Oh, I'd have some fucker else to it then, mate. In it, go and get the man that works for free. <laughs> I don't want him at all. Why you at him? If you find him, the man that works for free. Uh, just give my number, tell him to give me a ring, because I, I could find some work for him and all. <laughs> I said, I'm not doing it for that anyway. All I'm doing it for is to help Matt out, basically. I said, that's all I'm doing this job for. I said, I don't need this, this job. I'm, I'm, I'm busy enough. I'm, I'm just going there to help Matt out, because he's snarled up, obviously, got too much work on, and he needs to get this rewind done. That's the only reason I'm doing it, mate. So, I do it for fucking free, because I, I, it's a favour for Matt, but I'm not doing it for free for someone else, am I? Huh. There we go. That's a little rant over, people. Right, enough of this. Let's get vanning. Vanning. Instead of trucking, we're vanning. I've had to stop because my water level's low. I've got a water leak on this, what I still haven't looked at. Uh, because I'm a mechanic, obviously, and I don't look after my own van. <laughs> <laughs> But well, that's what earns your money, Chris. You gotta look after your own van. Yeah, I know, mate. Well, if it keeps on running, I'll keep running it. So let's top it up with water with these. Well, how much is this nowadays? Oh, fucking hell. Is that a fucking use, man? Oh. All right, I'm going to ask to see if the lady's got any water. Apparently, next to it, there's a tap. <laughs> there is a lot. Yay! Well, I've even got my spares now. I filled that up. I can smell clutch, you know. You know when you smell that clutch smell? I just hope it's not my van, I hope it's something that went past or something, because I got a strong whiff of clutch. Right, good old bus, bloody good bus. <laughs> I think it's going to start then. <laughs> Another thing that I need to sort out on the van, the starting issue.
everyone, Milwaukee Ma! Yay! Yay! Milwaukee Ma! Oh, yeah. It's hard to get into this place, man, isn't it? Oh, nice, isn't it? Security's all at Tesco now. What the hell is gold yeah. around? They've got gold around here. Oh, he woke up now, a lot. Oh, we're doing it in a workshop, lot. I thought we was doing it. I thought we was just doing it on the flat like that. But Matt says, no, nah, we don't want to work in there, mate. We pull everything in the workshop. Like, oh, all right. Oh, oh, we've even got a workshop. Nice day today, and all, isn't it? Makes a change. Oh, I've got bad news though. What? You can't smoke on Fuck it now. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, <laughs> got bad news, mate. Uh, no smoking on site. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm, yeah. That'll help. Definitely gonna follow that rule. Definitely. 100%. Fucking real. Oh, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, I know. Oh, definitely. This is what I mean. I can't, I just can't. I couldn't live, I couldn't work like this. You know, there's this many rules and regulations. Like getting into the place, the man on the desk, the security man through the speaker, he talks to you like, uh, you know, like he's your boss or something. No, no phones while you're driving. Du, 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 like speaking to you like, like, like you're a piece of shit. It's like, <laughs> I hate jumping through hoops, don't I? You know what I'm like? I hate, I hate rules. I hate regulations. I hate anything like that. It's just fucking does me. But round here, I'm doing Matt a favour, so I'll abide by him around here, especially the smoking, of course I will, Matt. I mean, come on, it's me here you're talking about. I hardly smoke anyway. Do I? Right, now, nah, I'm gonna do it, now. Nah, I've just said to Matt, because that workshop's a bit busy. So I says to Matt, because uh, there's the trailer lot. It's in a load of dirt there, lot. I says to him, if he just pulls it out of the dirt, I'll do it on the flat. It's only a real one, it's not like, he's like, oh, mate, you don't want to be doing that, do you, on the floor? It's like, mate, come on. Hey, it'd take longer to get it in that workshop than it will me do the job, won't it? I've got to get on today. I've got a busy day. All these rules, regulations. Look at this, people, and all. Look at the future lot. The future of lorries lot. Look at this. Look at that. Fricky, look at that. It is a load of absolute shit, isn't it? You can't see what it had when the sun's at the back here. Hey? What, what's the point in it all? And you've got all that to knock off, lot, and break, isn't it? It's going to cost a wrecking. Oh, what's that going to cost? 1500 quid or something to replace that? Instead of a mirror? I'll tell you what, the world we live in nowadays. In it? It's broken, in it? What's the point? What's a weird mirror? A glass mirror? I'll tell you what, people. I'll tell you what, that, that, that won't last five minutes, that won't. Yeah, them cameras. Ooh, camera. Put a camera on it instead. Why? It's just stupidness. No dogs on site either. <laughs> He's not a dog. He's just a really lazy human. Aren't you, little dog? Just a hairy human. Rules and regulations. But what I'm going to do here, people, is Matt says it doesn't need drums, though. It literally just needs brake shoes. So I'm going to whip it off with the hub there, aren't I? I'm not going to take the wheel nuts off. I'm going to take the hub nut off there and drag the whole thing out. Hopefully, it's got roll. It has got raised and lower because that's close look to it. I don't really want to get out of that mud look. Yep! Yeah. I'll do. No. Goes down, but it don't go up. Goes up on ride height lot. As long as it clears that wing, I'm not bothered. I'm gonna do this side first, and then I'm gonna shuffle it over one, the other side to do this side because this shunt is near it. And I'm not going to be able to get the hub off. And I can't pull it any more forward because I've snarled up the workshop. So let's just whip it off now. Matt's got a socket here, look. Yeah, we may as well crack that off now then, Matt, haven't we? Yeah, I'll give you a hand to do it. Yeah, just give you a hand to just crack them off. And then we'll do the other side one while you're here and all. You've still got Milwaukee's, Matt. Yeah, of course not. Milwaukee, Matt. <laughs> I bet, you've got... now, <laughs> I bet you've got quite the collection now, ain't you? No, it's all got the same stuff. Oh, it's still the same one. I've yeah. got a little battery as well now. Oh, have you? Yeah. Yeah, go on. Left hand thread on these. Yeah, I Well, should I get a bit of an extension? Yes, Matthew! She's a goner. She's a goner. She's a goner. You see that? I give him that, that confidence then to do that. I was here just for, for, for moral support with Matt there. Look at that. Look at that. You never well, you've that. virtually done the job yourself, Matt. <laughs> Look at that. I know. That's unreal, isn't it? Eh? SF axle. Never normally like that. 
Come on, let's let's get this other side cap off and crack it off, and then you can get on with your gun then. I was just about to jump up and get you. I was just about to jump up and, and, and sing it there. Never in a million years. I know. I say, everyone, they've, they've not come off, people. Bloody hell. It's a rarity, that is, Matt. If the odds come off, then, then something is going, isn't it? We're doing this because the linings are coming away from the shoe. They're like... Sometimes you get it where it gets corrosion in between the lining and the shoe and it pushes the shoe, uh, pushes the lining up. Uh, I may as well wind this one off, haven't I? Yes, Chris, may as well wind it off while I'm down here. Uh, I'll just get a bit of a hammer and hit it from the back. Now, so that's a good job. I bought that puller then. Look at the red rust, look, out here, look. Let's get the puller, Joe's puller. Cheers, Joe. You lot said on your comments you could easily make one of them, couldn't you? Eh? You could get one of these little engineering shops that soon buzz one of these out for you and get some threaded bar, look. Eh? A few nuts. I think this, what did Joe say? Over a grand, wasn't it? I'm sure it was over a grand. Mind you, we had it, you know, or oh, it's not, no, we had it. <laughs> Tell you what, that's tight. Real tight. My gun's near it, it's full now, and it's full. I need a bigger gun, don't I? You need a bigger gun, mate. <laughs> uh, I need some lube. I'm fucking run out of lube, and I need some spray. Uh, I'll just go to work and go get some spray because I need some easy oil, really. Look, food safe lube, look. So you can pour it on your, uh, you know, if you've got like toaster and it's a bit dry, just pour a bit of lube on it. And then you can eat it then. <laughs> what? That's what it says. That is fully tight now. It's got tight with that scaff bar, still not budging. Big guns out. It don't feel like it's moved. And it don't look like it's moved. It's because it hasn't moved, Chris, that's why. I've never known one that tight before. I really haven't. Normally the pullers, even if, if you get real tight, I've never known the puller to be to its full maximum. It's still not popping off. Never easy, is it? Uh, it's never, no such thing as an easy job. <laughs> Have I got that on full now? Sugar. Hey, <laughs> what this going to be easy, I did. This is why you got me, you crab me up really, ain't you? No. <laughs> I've got that on full fucking power. Can't go out on the bar with it. Oh, it's even flexing that a bit, look. Got a yeah, I've just tried it, sit down, and I've got a... If you get on one side, Matt, with a sledgehammer, a little bit of hammer, I'll get on the other side, and hit the rim. Come on, let's do it. You know what I mean? Awesome, video. <laughs> <laughs> Milwaukee Rats are awesome, the video. No, not gone at all. Really? The bearing hasn't gone one bit. No. Trouble is, you can't really swing on it with the hammer very well, can you? You literally can only swing it there, not with the hammer. You can't get it around the top, you can't get anywhere. I promise this one. Let's get the Milwaukee. Oh, he's going to get the Milwaukee on the job. Get the big guns out then. Yeah, what is that? Is that fucking three inch? Is that three quarter? Yeah. Can try it, mate. I'm up for trying anything. I don't want to break his tool, though. Do I? Cost me fucking 1,500 quid to do the job, wouldn't it? To replace his tool. And I still haven't got a tool for myself. That's just my look, that is. I end up breaking Joe's tool. Then having to replace that for him. It's trouble when you lend tools, isn't it? It's time. Just keep whacking, Chris. Well, he's getting that tool. I'm going to have another whack with a hammer. I'm just going to slacken that off and move the wheel around because I'm, I keep on hitting the rim in the same place on the other side and it's going to bugger the rim up if we're not careful. I'll see, that's my gun maxed out. 
I've repositioned that and also I'm not hitting the rim in the same place. What's this you've got? This. Not camera shy, are you? I like to share my struggles, mate. I do. <laughs> <laughs> a struggle shared is a struggle hole. It did go up a little tiny bit more with that, didn't it? I had one this tall. I had. <laughs> See the red rust coming out of it, look. What about our scaff ball? Get our scaff ball on it. No, I can't put pull up my ball. Matt said they're the other things, the, the uh, inch gun compressor. Uh, compressor, inch, inch air gun. Which is what you compress like to pull cords broke. Let's bring it on round, isn't it? While you're doing that, I'll, I'll get underneath and hit it with the armour again. Somebody must love me up there because they keep giving me all these fucking cushy jobs. <laughs> Living the dream, mate. Yeah, that's right. Living some kind of dream or a nightmare. I'm just trying to think about like, worst case scenario. Worst case scenario would be bottles, wouldn't it? You know what I mean? You could try warming this bearing race up with the bottles on the outside here first. Obviously, it's going to damage the seal and that, damage everything. So it'll need a new hub. I don't think you can get the, can you get the bearings for these now or not or are these have sealed for life jobbers they'll be sealed for life i should think won't they because everything is isn't it oh they mean just change it all mate oh how much is it uh because the bearing you know the bearings used to be about like 40 quid each or whatever yeah just this will be, be about 900 quid all right just change the whole thing then mm, great right we're gonna wait for matt and the big gun first don't we don't 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 go to the worst case scenario yet chris keep struggling trying it you know what i mean i know it's like hitting it in as such but it might just you know just just budge summits might it them three letters say it all yes the fucking do Sass. mate yeah <laughs> i fucking know about them mate the fucking shit shit they're just a bad idea i mean they're all ones you used to have the fucking just take the wheel off and then yeah. your drum will come off yeah. and you can change your brakes leave like leave all the other there yeah well no not these you have to have all the other bosses to get the to set the brakes yeah. Professional struggle. <laughs> yeah, struggling. <laughs> Professionally. I've just got to keep trying to put pressure on it, and I try to sit with the hammer. Matt's, uh, where's Matt with his bloody compressed with his van? How is he, the man, the myth, legend? Ah, he's sleeping. Look oh, at yeah. that. Matt's a man after my own art, look. Look at that. That's what a workman should look like. Yeah, exactly. Isn't it? Bloody good, man. Welder on, look. Yeah, you've even got a welder on, Matt. I've even got everything on here. All the gear. What's that you're doing? Are you setting up something there? Robin switches it. Ah, I like it, like it. Oh, yeah, you've got a good compressor on board, Matt. Yeah, when it starts, we've got to get it started first, though, mate. Oh, this old chestnut. Fix it before you use it. Oh. I bet you're... What's this? Three and a half tonne? Yeah. <laughs> I'm about four tonne, but you better keep, <laughs> that, better keep that bit out for DVLA, don't you? <laughs> she's going. Is she going? She's, well, she's spinning, but I don't want to fucking get too much and put that pull up. Don't do that. If you, if you break that pull, then you're paying for it, not me. Exactly. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, something is going in it, but. Where's that copper hammer? It's all right. <laughs> yeah, on the knees still. That's all right, mate. Come on, Matt, go a bit more, hang on. No, not doing it. Go on, Matt, go a bit more, eh? Yeah, right, fucking that. Ding! <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah, ambidextrous now. No. What? Oh, yeah. Don't even hit this way, can <laughs> Well, somebody, it's got to go anyway, hasn't it? It's got to give it some point, hasn't it? 
Yeah, someone's just got to give, on it? Where's your merch, Matt? <laughs> Where's your merch? Oh, my best mate, they came in on. <laughs> I'm skin. I work on lorries. Wait there, mate, wait there. All I've got's medium, Matt. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> my skin tight, wasn't it? Hey. She's going, mate. No, she's, she's, we haven't got it, it's going. It's, 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 it's making us fight it, though, all the way. It's gone about 8 mil. Oh, look at that, look. <laughs> Perfect fit, mate, that is. Freaking perfect fit, mate, that. We're going to have the struggle at the top on for this, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, you've got to have it on, mate. I know it's small, but you might split it, like, you know we're in Yama, you might split it open, like. We thought we was done, but no. Look. It's split the bearings in half. There's a clip that holds these in. It's obviously just broke the clip away. Wow, that was lovely. Oh yeah, look at the shoe, the pads, look, the shoes. SAF. Look, it has started to come off a little bit, look. Come away from it a bit. But all I'm gonna do is get my grinder and just put a slit in it down there to go through the race and then that'll just pop off. Tight though. That's the tightest one I've ever known, anyway. And I've done loads of these. And that's tight. And they? They're, they're just a rubbish design, aren't they? SAF. They are SAF. These SAF axles are an absolute rubbish design. I've never known a worse axle on a trailer you can get. Honestly, I haven't, I haven't known a worse axle than SAF. Uh, and obviously, that's from manufacture, this is. Because... It's still got the silicon on them. You know what I mean? They still had the silicon on them. Well, it wasn't broken. That's what SF do for manufacture. So this is the first time these hubs have ever been off in its life. In its short life, mind you, because uh, what year is this trailer? I'll find out what year it is. Right there. It's 2015, this trailer. Well, you're telling me it hasn't had brakes in that long? Because there's no way... There's another bad design about these. <laughs> Rigid, real bad design and all. Is you have to get the whole hub off. Uh, you can't get the drum off. See, a normal, some of the trailers, a good design trailer, you could get the, you could just take the wheel off and then take the drum off and the hub stays in place here and then you can take your shoes off. So you leave the hub in place and you just take your shoes off, remove your shoes. <laughs> Not with SAF. Oh, no, no, no. You need the complete hub off because the drum goes behind the hub. Instead of in front of the hub, it goes behind it and through the studs lock. So to change the brakes, you need the whole hub off. These trailers must not do a lot of work then, are they? Because, look, never been touched since it was born. And they're not, you know what I mean? It must not do much work, is it? Well, yeah, bad design. No matter what age uh, SF it is, it's, it, they're always the same. They're always the same. Well, that was bad. That was real bad. Lee at Partick says, yeah, you can buy the bearings. Some of them, you can buy the bearings separate. So you just change the bearings without changing the hub. But... Uh, I don't know what this lad's going to do, but uh, Lee said and all, he's had made at Partick, they've had made so you can buy a re-threader that threads this, but of course you can't just buy one re-threader because the different threads either side, aren't they? Yes, Good right. idea again, SAF. Yes, right. I mean, why anybody would want these on their trailer is beyond me, honestly. Well, I, I know the reason why, because they haven't got a clue what they're doing about trailers and, and, and thing is, and they must be cheap, that's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, got a bit. Christmas crack is cheap. There must be. Because why you'd have them on your trailers, I do not know. I do not know why anyone would have them on it. Junk. Junk. SF, junk. <laughs> it's junk. Matt's took my jump, bruv, because he was stopping his circulation. <laughs> 
Where are you pulling? Oh, there it is. It's in the passenger side. You see? Look at that. Beautiful people. That's a lovely design. Yeah, Man, what is it? A pot noodle? Nice. They like pot noodle, yeah. Oh, they look nice, they do, yeah. Nice. You took the water out of them. Okay, yeah. just, so what, so you can just drink the juice? No, no? you took the water out of them, so you've just got normal noodles. Oh, right. Noodles. Oh, I thought so you could drink the juice. Oh, because the best thing about pot noodles, then, isn't it, when you drink them? Nah. Yeah, I like them. Oh, you've got your winter one, Yeah. You're tidy in here, Matthew, are you? Yeah. Curtains, screwed in by soft tappers. Yeah, that's another thing. Axle number. Yeah, look, I've just had a look for the axle number for Lilo. Yeah, I'll see if you lot can see this axle number. Look, come here, look. This is another thing to do, I say. They're fucking good to us. Obviously, we had this middle cap off already, but you can't see the number because it's half printed, look. Look, they've stamped it wrong. So I thought, well, it'll have it on, on, on them all on the offside. So I've took the front cap off. All red rust, look around. Stamp pissed up so you can't see the numbers. So I've done it to the back. Stamp pissed up so you can't see the numbers. Can't see the numbers. Can you see half the number? Surely there ain't that many different types of fucking axle. I don't know. Unless they're authentic, they're just shit. <laughs> they will, mate. They'll do it just to crumb you up. Well, to get to this stage here, it's took us two and a half hours. And it should have just took you literally 20 minutes. But now, two and a half hours later, and we've uh, opened a can of worms, haven't we? Mm. Pushed the job. And it's Friday as well, and I had loads to do. This was meant to be a quick job. I, why do I even attempt to say it's going to be a quick job. I was just saying, he's not allowed to work on BPW axles here. He is a third party, but not him personally, because he hasn't been on a BPW training course or something. Because I said to him, well, how come I'm allowed here and I'm allowed to work on it? He said, because you're, uh, that's a third party trailer. It's not, it's not their own trailer. Hey, they'd like to give me a course on, F on, on SF, wouldn't they? <laughs> I'll teach them a thing or two about SAF, that is a fact. Just look at my channel, mate. Just type in SAF on my channel. There'll come up loads of problems there with SAF. What? Do we pass the SAF training course or not? We must do, Max. We're not too stupid. Nobody else wants to do it. Nobody else wants to do it. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, mate, you've passed because nobody else wants to do it. Perfect split lot, not even touch the stub. Beautiful little do. If only it all went so easy. Look at them drawers that go on forever. This ain't Matt's box, this is one of the lads that works here. He says we should have a look at it. I says, uh, is it secure? Because I don't like, really like showing tools, you know, on here. You know, you don't know who's looking here because you get all these chorings, don't you? That chore, people tools. But he's fully alarmed up in here and the secured up 24 7. So look at this, people. Oh, this is like tool porn, isn't it? <laughs> this is tool porn. Look at this. My God, he's got a set up on a... Oh, so I can't believe it. Brand new stuff, but never used. The box on its own is 15 grand. 15 Look at the stuff grand. in it, though, as well. Oh. Oh, it's like a... Oh. And it's like Christmas, isn't it? Bloody hell. That's who's gone with... Uh, we borrowed in it. Yeah. This, this one's gone. Shit drawer. I can't believe how deep the drawers are. They do feel nice though, don't they? I know it's 15 grand. I mean, who the hell pays 15 grand for a box? I do not know. Look at this. Keeps going. Keeps going. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's more. My God. <laughs> hey, that is crazy. This lad spent some money on tools, don't they? Look at that bar, look. Look at that. That's lovely. Look at that. Flexi head. Oh, look at all these lot I've got. Mm. Oh, she's got some gear on her. It'll be short and out, will I? I do love a toolbox tour. Oh, spares department here. Oh, shit. Break his box. That is crazy, isn't it? You know what I mean about that? I bet all these are a bobber, yeah. Lean on it, innit? Perfect leaning height. There's some money in it. And then you've got to think, that's like mine. That was four grand. 
Is that a fold round one? That fold is. Round plus that. Them little blue points. For the it. toolbox on the road, that yeah. is, isn't it? Yeah, just toolbox on its own. Oh, I can't believe fifteen thousand pounds for a box. Pretty much every toolbox in here is fucking snap on. I know. You go down the other side of the pit. What? They're all snap on down there and all. Snap on, snap on, snap on. Look again, snap on everywhere. Everywhere you look. Apart from this thing, look at that. What's that? That's a good box. Who's that? That's a fucking storage box. Oh, is it storage? Unit? <laughs> look at that little box. Yeah. He's the trailer man. Oh, is he? And there's nothing he can't do. And there's nothing he can't do. Nothing nothing just, can't yeah, do. just out of that little box. Yeah. Apparently, in all, uh, we can't get these hubs until Monday. So that suits me because I'll just get these hubs off and get the bearings off and put the brakes on. And then I'll uh, leave it for, for Matt to do on Monday. <laughs> well, that's easy, John. All you got to do is well, take them off. Yeah, you won't look at the deck. Right. Has he moved that shunt to the other side? Oh, he's going to move the shunt to the other side, the lad was. That's it then. I can try and get this one off now. Oh, let's hope this one ain't the same. Right, I'll get jacked up then. Already wired off, innit? It's not going to be easy, is it? I may as well just get a pull on it. Then getting get it under there, hitting it with the hammer, pointless, it's not going to come off. Get the pull off. We're lucky, we've only got one axle to do. Imagine it, doing up doing all three axles. <laughs> Isn't it? Like that. It's hammer time. As Matt said, it's it's quite depressing, isn't it? <laughs> There's fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Contemplating jumping off the top deck. <laughs> it's tempting, isn't it? <laughs> just take the easy way out. Yeah. yeah. Take the easy way out, Matt. We'll just I'll get that top deck job next. <laughs> oh, oh. said just think if you didn't come with that puller today you'd have been underneath there with hammers and that you'd have never got it off never without them pullers you can't get them off hey this is another thing and all obviously these are sf axles crop design axle ah uh, snf puller as well isn't it they're making money on it aren't they yeah. they're making money on these fucking hoods being tied. Look, there's the part number look sf hey yeah they're making money on our struggles. Yay! Oh, oh the kickback is immense when you hit the tyre. Hands up anyone in the comments who's missed the, the rim before and hit the valve off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
different now. It's not moving out, man. We've been hitting it. It's not moving the, the, the beam, this one. This, this, this side's even worse than that other side. At least we move that other side a tiny bit and give you a bit of hope. That side, nothing. Oh. Matt's got the big guns out now. This hammer here, look. This ain't, this ain't, this is the company, isn't it, man? Yeah. That hammer, how much was that hammer? <laughs> how much was this hammer? 14 pound hammer? 350 pound for a hammer. I mean, she's got a nice shaft on her. Fuck, 300. <laughs> she's, <laughs> got, she's got a fucking yeah, good Yeah, would you pay 300 quid for that nice shaft? Eh? I wouldn't. What the fuck? Jesus. I'll tell you what, you need some pace to swing that down, yeah? Fuck that. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Chad. All that rim, I feel it. All that rim, Matt. Matt. The rim. Fucking tyre's going to blow off in you. If that goes, it's going to knock us both over. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you're right. What else are we supposed to do? Yeah. Unless we're supposed to fucking wheel off. Yeah, we can take the rim off then, you have to load to it. What, what, what's that then? Mine, 10. 10 pounds. It's 14. As soon as that hits, it's bruising that rim. I know it is, isn't it? I'm not going to fall that fucking thing. <laughs> What do you do? I don't know what to do. Thing is, we're foobarring the rim up here. As Matt says, we're going to fuck the rim up, aren't we? Should we take the wheel off? But then you've got no to it. You've, you've just got the drum in there attached to the hub, obviously. So you've got nothing to it then, hardly. You can't get a swing at it, like at, at anything then. Anything I can think of. Matt, you got bottles here. Well, it needs, it needs, a, it needs a new hub anyway, doesn't it? Yeah, just chop through the bearing race and hub, yeah. Isn't it? Now if we get the... I don't like to go near this, too near it, because I don't like to see if something's going to pop, fucking hell. Got some pressure on there. You know, if you get the bottles and chop through here, look. Chop through there and then chop through it all. Chop through the bearing race and all. Some of this is bad to give, innit? Surely. The hub's no good anyway, because he's got two nodes for it, because the hub will definitely be kaput. So, we're not losing it, are we? It's the only way around it, I think, because that ain't budging at all. Even if we try at the start, just to get a bit of heat in here. And that bearing race there, that outer race. I know I can't get the inner one, but I can get the outer one, can't I? So it'll loosen it a bit. Yeah, let's get, let's get some heat on it. That's the, that's the, only, the, that's the, only, that's the only way out of this problem, solution. No, that's the solution. This is a problem. But the bottles will hopefully be the solution to the problem. Just push them. It's like it's like plowing. Them wheels, they, they turn freely, but as soon as you've got like oh, a lighter weight on it, stiff as out. Honestly, hard work. I had to move the shunter because I couldn't get these big things through. Look how close we had to get it as well. Because look how short the pipe is. Look from there. Look, close up to there. Look. It says to Matt, what's, what's the idea of that? Then why is uh, why is the pipe so short? He said health and safety. I should think. What, health and safety, what? So it's better to have your, your big bottles right next to your workplace then, is it? Health and safety. Is that a better idea than having long pipes? So you can have them bottles away from where you're working. So now I'm working at this hot place with a feck load of gasoline next to me as well, am I? Eh? Rethink it, please. <laughs> <laughs> they obviously don't work on the tools, do they? Come and get on the tools for a bit. Yeah, you get on them bottles, look. You, you work in there, and there's your bottles, mate. I'm going to take the pressure off this. Can you tell I'm getting annoyed? <laughs> I'm going to take the pressure off this because I don't want it exploding in my face as I'm warming it up. All I'm going to do, I'm trying not going to damage them threads, heat them threads up. I'm just going to warm that bearing race up a bit around there. And then, and then just tighten that up and then see whether it'll crack it off, hopefully. I don't know. We'll try one. It's hard to like. Huh? Ah! Is that a new nozzle? But they're not too working, huh? No. Fuck off. You know, 
a go, haven't you? You're on the air, right? That's all right. Can do, yeah. Why well, you got a valve key? Got a valve key, yeah. What's the crack here? Why your nozzle's fucked up. It's got two fucking holes in it, hasn't it? It ain't got no new nozzles, it's literally the nozzles foobard on this. You can't get no heat on it when the nozzles foobard. Oh, so you got two nozzles that are working. That's clear. Just put the valve out because this and that rim, I don't want it to blow the tire off basically. I haven't fully deflated it, I've just took most of it out. Uh, you know if them if the if their bottles were any good, the, which they're not, you could just cut through like the bearing in there. Well, you could just cut through the whole thing. Just cut straight through that and then just keep chopping away inside it. But obviously that, it's only running, it don't got no new nozzles. The nozzle's foobard. It barely is even good enough to eat it. They might have cut through out. What do you do? Fucking hell. It's going to get dark soon and all, isn't it? Do I just chop through that hub? Or try and chop through it? The hub's no good anyway, is it? So I'm not going to lose out. May as well do, aren't I? I've just found them, look, my nozzle cleaners. I couldn't find them. I've been searching high and low for them, but I found them now. I'm going to try and clean them, that nozzle out on that. Matt's trying the big gun again, but... Oh, stand away, man. What in case it pops. Okay, oh, some pressure on there, isn't there? I know. Fucking hell. Fuck will through it. If we had a fucking nozzle. Well, tell it off, I'll, I'll try and bottle it. That hard to race. I can't bottle the inner waste, obviously, but I'll try it. I'll try and pop that way. Can't I? You can't cut out with this. You can't, it's pretty useless. You can't get no heat up on that. Shit. It couldn't even chop a tin of beans, that couldn't. You couldn't even get through a tin of beans with it. That boy, it's all of it. Oh, I've never got a new nozzle, thank God. I'm going to ask him, what, somebody must have one in that workshop with all the tools. Someone's going to have a new nozzle for that, aren't they? Surely, come on. Clean that nozzle out, it's still food board, it's no good. Now, nobody's got a nozzle for this freaking thing. Uh, the places that might have it shut at five, and it's five now. Uh, around here, Peterborough. I rang up Partick, because, ain't you got a depot with Peterborough? No, I ain't got a depot, because I know for a fact Partick stock, uh, stock them, not like nozzles and stuff like that. No, we ain't got a depot near Peterborough. Uh, the nearest one we've got is Melton. I said, well, you want to get a depot in Peterborough then, don't you? Tally in. In, Jack. Depot, please. Peterborough. We need it in Peterborough. Got all this haulage here. No, no Partick. Uh, you can't have haulage and all trailers and that and no Partick motor spares, can you? To look after you at night for your bits and that. Huh? Thank you. Thank you, Jack. Thank you. In. I don't know what I'm going to do. This is me down to a T in it, look. Got all this light here, look. Look at all this light, look. Look, they light everywhere, look. Look at this. And then now, me and Matt, <laughs> in the depths of hell, in the armpit, haven't we, of hell. No light at all. No freaking light. Do we just take the wheel off and just try and hit the hub? But you can't really swing at the hub, though, can you, very well? Yeah, let's take the wheel off. Yeah, strike your compressor back up, Matt. I'll take the wheel off. <laughs> Being as he just switched it off. Oh, here we go, here we go. 
<sighs> Trouble is, they don't take wheel rims off now to change the tyre, they the, the, the change it just on the rim. So this is what happens. Then wheel rims have never been off in the life. Everything you touch, man, every single thing, isn't it? Yeah, got the wheel off now. I just had to go underneath it, took the hammer. I didn't record it because I've gone the charging struggle, innit? Uh, well, that's really give us a lot of light, on it? I know, yeah, I'll just try and, uh, yeah, Matt just said, I said, well, we should try and cut the hub off there, like, cut down it with the bottles. But as Matt says, it's like cast stuff, innit? Don't cut very well, which it don't, does it? But I'll try it with them shit bottles. Them bottles are shit and all, aren't they? You can't even cut through the racer with, it, with these bottles, all the up, it's just not going to well, I've given it a bit of warmth, I've burnt the seal out and given it a bit of warmth in there, now I'm just going to get the pull on it again. But, as Matt said, we've got no to it now, have we? Apart from the drum and, like, just whack the fuck out of it, basically. Well, Max, that? Uh, you stand out the fucking way, don't you worry? I know, because I did do it, I'll stand back hard it while you... Oh, yeah, well, I'm just expecting to go ping! Now what we're going to do? It's not as fucking nice to get up properly. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what we're supposed to hit now. You? Hit, hit the drum. Oh, I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place here. There he is! He's out and about, people! Oh, just the aftermath of the stretch. Right, me and Matt's been talking about our options here. I said nine inch grinder it. Nine inch grinder through here. Hit them studs out. Hit that drum back a bit. I know it won't go back a lot. And then nine inch grinder it through there. But as Matt said, we looked at the other side. We're never going to get through it hot at all with the nine inch grinder. Because it goes in as much that side as it does this side. Uh, and then looking at it, right. We seem to think it's tight on the inside one. But I don't think it is. I reckon it'll break that clip and just pull it out. So I'm pretty sure it's the outside one that's that's a, a main problem. So I'm just thinking, uh, just just eat it, just keep eating it, and keep doing what we're doing. Heat it up, try it, heat it up, try it, go on and then go on at midnight. Yeah. A happy people because we finished the job. It was not finished though, is it? No, but when we do get it off, it will be finished. We would, we must never give in, Matthew. Don't give in, Matt. Come on. I gave up for an hour ago. <laughs> I gave up before I even started the job. I gave up before I started the job. What, what the 24 hour garage then, this? Night shift's here now, we think. Swap over. Look how hard it is to push these bottles. You need B, man. No, it's tight, mate. It's Gotta go. Get more warmth. I've got a new idea though, man. As I've been bottling, I'm just thinking, right, look. Right, you see them bearings? They're all in by that bearing race, aren't they? Yeah. The lip of the bearing race. You see how I've started melting away that bearing race around it? Yeah. I think you do that all the way round, all the way round, and then the bearings will come out, won't they? And then it won't be all that. That race then is doing nothing. Right, I'll melt away at the bearing race, all of it there, so it's so it, it you yeah, can at least get two or three bearings, bearings and turn it in, knock it out, turn it, knock the bearings out, so all the bearings are out. Yeah. Yes, my blood, we got blood, people. Just took me five minutes just to melt through that bit, look. Look there, the bearings, look. So if we'll be able to turn it, look. We can like get them out individually, that's what I'm thinking. I've got a bigger screwdriver than that, mate. Fuck you. Know. <laughs> I thought you what? were a struggler, I thought well, you had all the good stuff. I've got no, I thought I'm a struggler. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm full sore. It's like removing teeth, isn't it? Look at this, man. Without any bearings in? Yep. Yeah. Well, better. Where's that one? That was. Oh, did it come out? Yeah. Oh, we're empty now. Not in it now. 
Now we pull it. Yeah. What's that actually achieved? <laughs> What's that actually achieved? Know, it's got you know a what, though. It feels like you're getting Yeah, it feels like, like yes. Yes. yes! We've got a plan there. We've, 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 we've thought of a plan and we've actually gone through with it. <laughs> right, people, the moment of truth. Is this a way of getting out of this sticky situation we're in? We're going to find out when Matthew gets this gun on it right now. Drum roll! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> baby! You know it, Matthew! Freaking that's the way we do it! See? Freaking yes! <laughs> Bloody good show, that man, isn't it? Eh? Freaking all you gotta do is nibble away that bearing, take the bearings out, you see? Fucking yes! <laughs> Ha. Ha. Fucking splendid, darling. Bloody good show, Matthew. I like it when a plan comes together. So that bearing lot is tapered, like it's not straight, like it's tapered. So it sits like that, like that. It sits like that, and it's held in by just that little little rib there, and it floats on grease and that. That's that's why it's a bearing, because it floats on grease. Uh, so basically, look, all I've done is just nibble away there, and then just pick them out of there like that. <laughs> and now all I've got to do is get my grinder, cut that and hammer it on. Problem solved, phone soon. Matt will finish it all off Monday. <laughs> well, your parts ain't coming to Monday, you're Switch pack away. No, I've got to get them on. I can do that Monday morning. No, no, I'll do it now. No, I don't want you thinking about that all week. That's, that, that's, that's a tricky bit. That's not tricky, but... No, come on. Let's, 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 let's stick with it. Don't get deflated, Matthew. I thought I'd it when it started turning, but no. Hey. Yeah, now fuck that. That's what we like, a bit of spiciness, people. The green machine never fails. Yes! Look at that, we haven't even put a scratch on the stub either, have we? Now, if it was me doing this job, I'd put my ABS sensors on it as well. Because then, yeah, it's, it's done then, isn't it? Yeah. ABS sensors, shoes, drums, job's good. See you in a bit. Because if you don't fit them sensors, you know what's going to happen? He's going to go down the road, you're going to have to have that hub off again. And put loads of grease on that hub. Oh, people always put grease on these SF hubs. Well, as you know. Isn't it, Mark? Fucking hell, isn't it? Dry lot. They put them together, dry manufacturing, they must do. Look at the mess we're in. Bearings everywhere, tools everywhere. Joe, come to do it without your puller. And one of my subscribers give me this torch. I couldn't have done that without you either, subscriber. I'm going to read your note because I'm, I'm ever so thankful. Right, this light is off Martin Ball. I tell you what, Martin, you're a lifesaver, mate. Uh, he's a new subscriber, but he has been looking at me old videos, obviously, and, and he's, he, he realised that I've all, I'm, I'm always on the uh, light struggle. So he sent me that light, and he sent me these, and all look, crank spanners. Because he, he, he saw on one of them that I had to bend a spanner to get it round. Crank ratchet spanners, Martin. That's good, isn't it? So thank you, Martin, boy. You got me out of the mess there. As you say, going winter time now. I'll use this a lot, mate. Thank you. Much appreciated. I'll put your name on it, Martin, with marker pen. So I always remember who give it to me, you see? So I'm forever thankful to you. Thank you, mate. Without this light, me and Matt wouldn't have achieved this job, would we, Matt? No one's giving out free torches. I mean, <laughs> I keep running mine over, so, uh, you know. Yeah, and if SAF want to give us a, a test to one of these, uh, these pullers. Yeah, yeah, we'll have bring, one each. We'll have one each, thanks. We'll have one each. Being as you push through hell with uh, the manufacturing of your uh, your stuff, the least you can do is supply us with a, a puller. So I'm not damaging Joe's all the time. I think we've done well. I do, considering. Well, yeah, you say that, don't you? I think we've done well. But you know, if it was a normal trailer, them hubs would be off in 20 minutes, back on, done, boom. Two hours, I should think, it'd take you to do the whole thing. 
if you was on a normal, like, you know, if everything went right. And instead it takes you all day and night. But well, never mind. We don't want to go it off, that's the main thing. Could be worse, could not go it off. Right, guys, we're going to pack away these tools. Lear Dog's going to come out for a tiddle again. And uh, that's it, isn't it? And then we're going to go out because it's Friday! Yeah, it is, Martin Ball with a torch. I'm going to have a drink on you tonight, mate. I'm and Matt is as well. Having a drink yeah, we're having a drink when we get home. <laughs> right, catch you on the next one, guys. Matt, say woo woo. Woo woo. No, more, more like, yeah. Woo woo. Woo woo. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, I will. Yeah, it is Friday. Oh, I've got to pack all these tools away now. That's the worst bit of the job, really, isn't it? Packing tools away. <sighs> Come on, Chris, it's Friday. Yee! <laughs> Catch you on the next one, guys. Much love.